our second video and this one is going to be all about combining the plane figures that we have and we're putting them together okay so uh, we're gonna first go over our schedule we're going to talk about our learning target the key vocabulary we're going to talk about combining and splitting plane figures we're, next we're going to go into the not so bright mis or, or not so bright Luki and last real life combinations all right so let's take a look here at our fir first at our learning target only one today, and that's to show how to combine and split plane figures to see what's inside. Okay. Then here are your key vocabulary words. Remember, you can pause the video at any time you want to make sure you can write everything down. The first one is combine. To take two, thi two things, could be more, so take, it could be combining two things. Um, or, or more and putting them or put them together to make something new. Right. If you take a look at our second one, the second one is split to take something large and cut it into smaller pieces. Okay, we're going to split something and cut it into smaller pieces. Okay. So, now we're going to talk about actually combining and splitting these plane figures. We've got a couple of things on the board right now, and this is, does anybody here know? Miss Heather, do you know what this one is? Is it a trapezoid? It is a trapezoid. <laughs> Very nice, Miss Heather. It's a trapezoid. Why is it a trapezoid? Because it has one pair of parallel sides. We don't learn about these things in first grade. <laughs> it has one pair of parallel sides. That's all it has. Well, is that all it is? If I add a couple of lines, you're going to be surprised at what you can find out. You know some of them are getting erased. But I'll draw the line and get it back. What did this become? Just by drawing a couple of extra lines, something magical happened. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five different triangles. Pretty cool. If I measure these triangles, I find that 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 7 centimeters. Okay, so these are actually what? It is an isosceles triangle because it has two equal sides. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five isosceles triangles. Pretty cool, huh? All right, that's one way of doing it. We actually split these. We cut them into smaller and smaller pieces. Well, let's try to combine two pieces to make something. Well, let's take a look over here. We have two isosceles triangles again because they have two pairs of equal sides. They're also right triangles if you see because we have one right or 90 degree angle. What could we do to put those together? I know some of you are saying, flip it Mr. Luke, flip it! You got it. If we take this and we add it together, oops, that isn't going a little fast so it's getting kind of messy. Sorry guys. We turn that over, we make a what? We make a square. Very cool. Kind of like up here. If we would split these, we would have two right triangles. Well, if we combine these two right triangles, we will have a square. Now, there are many, many ways of combining and of splitting different, uh, different plane figures, and we'll talk about more in class tomorrow. tomorrow. Hi guys, I have a very special student named Luki. Um, he's really good at paying attention in class, but he has a little bit of trouble understanding things, so please try not to laugh too much at uh, him while he's trying to learn, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 
Alright, so Luki, I know that you're having problems um, with combining and splitting plane figures. So today we'll go over it. <laughs> yes, Luki? Like airplane figures? Uh, like, yeah! Uh, not quite. Where is the pilot? So these are plane figures. Plane figures means like flat figures, flat shapes. Okay. Not airplane figures. <laughs> Alright. So, I, well, we'll look at these different um, shapes up here real quick. Are there any shapes that you can put together to make a new shape? Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you try it? Look, I can make this one, and I can go here, and that one's a pretty shape. Okay. And I'll put this one here, and look at the shape I made. <laughs> that is a pretty shape, but that's not quite what I'm thinking. Can I, show, can I give you an example? Yeah. Okay. So, what we can do, for example, is take this rectangle, which, do you remember what a rectangle is? Um, it's a circle when you do all the way around. Okay, well a circle has round edges, right? A rectangle has two long edges and two short edges, okay? Okay. So, if we take the rectangle, and then we take an acute isosceles triangle, which again, acute means that two of the sides are the same, Okay. Isosceles means that? Or, or isosceles, I'm sorry. Isosceles means that two sides are the same, and then acute, they have three acute angles, okay? So, if we look at this, what shape does that make? That looks like a super fast Tyrannosaurus Rex! <laughs> uh, you not quite what I was thinking. I was thinking more it looks like a house. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. I think we put a door here, and then some windows. That's pretty now, do you house. see it? That's a pretty house. Yeah? Okay. Alright, so that's one thing. Can you think of another way that we can maybe put some of these shapes together? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how about this? Uh oh. Oh, Luki. Okay, that's your warning for today. We're gonna have to put your name uh -huh. Sorry, but you know that you need to be paying attention. Okay? Alright, so we have a right angle. Why is it a right angle? Do you remember? Because. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so it's a right angle because one of the angles is 90 degrees. Okay? It goes straight up and then straight across. So it's a right triangle? A right triangle, yes. Thank uh, you. Oh, okay. Just like the picture says. <laughs> Alright, now if we take two right triangles and watch this. Zoop, and we put them together. What shape does that make? That makes a star. Not quite. A star is like this, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, that okay. makes a square. Square. Very good. So if we look at this, it makes a nice square. Okay, very good. All right, and remember, a square has, the sides are all, are they different or are they the same? They're all the same. Very good, and? They have what about the two pairs of parallel sides. Uh, yes, right here, here, and here, and here. And they have four right angles. Very good, here's the right angle, this makes a right angle, here and here, awesome. Okay, last one we have are, we have our two trapezoids. Do you remember what a trapezoid is? So, You're making me nervous. I don't know. <laughs> All right, a trapezoid has two parallel uh, sides. So this side and this side are parallel. Okay. okay? All right, so if we take this trapezoid, and we have this one, and we flip it, what does that make? A hexagon. Very good. Yes, it makes a hexagon. Okay? So there we go. And how many sides does a hexagon have? 17. Not quite. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright? Wow. So does that make sense? Thank you, Miss Heather! <laughs> I'm glad I could help. <laughs>
So maybe here you could have a triangular kitchen. Be really cool. And it could face into your other triangle. Oops. Right into a triangle living room. Okay. What do you have left over? Well, we could leave them as two parallelograms or two diamonds or two rhombuses, or we could draw a line straight across and make more triangles. And all these could be your different rooms. Be a pretty cool looking house. Well, what happens if you can't think of anything that uh, is very creative and you just said, okay, I want a square house? Well, to make your house look even cooler, you could you could make it into you could add triangles to the sides of your house to make the shape of it look even better. And measure the middle of it. And now instead of having just a boring square house, you could even put out wings to this side. Maybe you want to have this one be a right triangle. And you take these plane figures and you combine them. Looks like a spaceship. Now you kind of have a spaceship, but look at what kind of a cool shape your house could be just by combining these plane figures. Okay? You could also split them then, right down the middle. Make two right triangle rooms, because when we split a square, it makes two tri right triangle rooms. Okay? There's so many ways to split and combine plane figures to make different shapes. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Your key word for the day, to remember to write this down, to know, make sure I know that you watched the video. And your key word of the day, let's see here, is T-Rex. Or that super fast T-Rex that Lukey was talking about. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.